Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Financial News. Stay with us for more market headlines. The dollar-yen pair gained 0.3% in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair exploded 2.3% in the last session. The Williams indicator indicates an oversold market. The gold dollar pair dropped 0.3% in the last session. The ROC's negative signal contradicts our overall technical analysis. The last session saw the oil fall 0.6% against the dollar. According to the CCI, we are in an overbought market. Those were today's major economic events and now moving on to world financial headlines. There is no need to increase crude oil production now, Nigeria's Minister of State for Petroleum Timipra Silva said on the sidelines of a gas exporters conference in Qatar's capital, Doha. The euro one-month volatility level jumped to its highest in 15 months as the single currency was hit by rising risk aversion amid a gas price surge and escalation of tensions in Ukraine. Bitcoin's notorious weekend volatility is paying dividends for investors in the largest cryptocurrency, which is outperforming U.S. equities for a change amid the uncertainty surrounding the turmoil in Ukraine. Coming up are Chief Analyst's Choices for today. Germany's GFK Consumer Confidence Survey will be released at 0700 GMT. The French Business Climate in Manufacturing at 0745 GMT. The U.S. Five-Year Note Auction at 1800 GMT. The U.S. Red Book Index will be released at 1355 GMT. Australia's construction work done at 0130 GMT. The Irish Consumer Confidence at 0 hundred hours and one minute GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Wednesday's Market Outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.